uh, morning. Uh, this is a uh, test 3600 power analyzer to turn on. This is the button. Now, uh, this proof is actually to uh, measure the voltage and this is actually to measure the current. Uh, we will actually need to uh, clamp it on the uh, terminal that we actually would like to uh, measure. Uh, here we need to clamp onto the terminal and the cables that we want that we like to measure. This power analyzer have these features wiring allow us to uh, choose for the combination of wiring that we actually uh, monitoring. Uh, this is single phase two wire, single phase three wire, three phase three wire, and three phase four wire. And for our this uh, uh, assisting. Uh, uh, process we are actually doing on this uh, three phase four wire. Now, uh, this button allow us to check whether or not our this uh, connection are in phase. So should we actually see this arrow in this uh, clockwise? It is actually in phase. Okay. To exit this function, press another time. Hold to freeze the display. Press another time to unfreeze it. And this allow us display backlight. Now at the moment. We are actually monitoring for the uh, first phase power. Why is first phase? You can see one indicating one here. Okay. Now this is actually first phase uh, power. Uh, what sort of power is that? It is actually the uh, active power, apparent power (kVA), and also reactive power (kVAR). Now uh, at the bottom here, bottom of the screen, U1 stands for monitoring the voltage level for us phase one and the current level for phase 1, uh, phase 2 voltage and phase 2 current and phase 3 voltage and phase 3 uh, current. All right. By pressing this power, allow us to go through second phase power, third phase power and a combination or we go back to for the uh, single phase, uh, first phase power monitoring. And by pressing this button, allow us to go through what is the power factor, the phase angle, this is a phase angle, and the frequency, at the moment is 50 hertz, and the current for the neutral uh, uh, cable. Alright, the next, uh, we will go into this uh, energy uh, uh, measurement. Now, once we press this uh, energy button, and it will actually show us the time that we started to monitor for the uh, energy all right now uh, this is actually showing the current times that we actually monitoring what is that what is the actually energy accumulated all right and and this first one is actually showing the uh, active energy that is kwh uh, the apparent energy being used kvah and this kvarh the reactive energy unit all right now after after some time of uh, this uh, 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 monitoring, we can press stop, okay, to know that how much energy in total that has been used up for the for the time uh, uh, lapse, okay. And to exit, we press this enter button. Now this this power analyzer come along with this uh, memory function. If we choose to memorize the uh, reading that we interested in, we just press this M button, okay, memory. Now we can see this reading actually increasing, okay, meaning. It means that uh, currently eight readings been stored in our this uh, meter, and in order for the, for us to read back, we just press this read button. Okay. Now, this one show that first reading, and by pressing this button, it show us second reading, so third reading, fourth reading. We can go on up to ninety nine sets. Okay. And in order for us to exit this uh, reading function, press this uh, enter button. This meter allow us. To do this uh, continuous data logging function and first thing first we need to number one set for the current time correct current time that is setting the year the month the hour the day the hour the minute and the seconds okay say we actually confirm on this one we got we can go on to set for the interval recording interval and uh, intv stand for interval now this interval can be divided into five seconds 30 seconds one minute and two minutes Say we stick at a uh, five second and press this enter to confirm. Okay. Now, uh, we we can just uh, press start to start the data logging. All right. And and there's one indication to show us that it's actually uh, being uh, what we call uh, uh, a data log at the moment. There is this uh, symbol M. 
blinking all right now uh, after the time period that we feel like to stop the data logging we can just press this uh, stop button okay then we can actually transfer this uh, result to our computer through the uh, software okay we will need to get it connected to the instrument and after we install the software in, into our this uh, computer uh, we need to call up this uh, uh, software and then we need to look for the COM port say we now try the COM1 okay it show an error now this reason this is showing that we need to look for the correct COM port for the uh, connection now uh, for for my this laptop actually I have tried out the correct COM port is actually COM5 okay for this USB connection so I click uh, OK now this this is the uh, the, uh, the, the the software uh, display okay now uh, what does it mean uh, this is actually the type of wiring that that actually showing the uh, three phase four wire connection I can actually change the uh, combination by by changing the uh, by changing it from my this uh, 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 meter okay right now actually single phase two wire single phase three wire three phase three wire and three phase four wire all right and uh, monitoring through this uh, what they call uh, computer uh, allow us to see all the readings in one glance what do I call all the readings all the uh, power factors power factors uh, it, it can be active uh, for single phase, second phase, third phase, all the voltage as well as the current, all right, all in one screen, all right. Now, uh, we we can transfer the reading by pressing this uh, data logger. Okay, then we select we select for the uh, uh, reading that we wish to uh, transfer. Say we want to transfer the five. Then we need to save. Okay, save the result. Say uh, early on, I will save for uh, one 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 reading. Say uh, right now, I actually uh, save it as uh, another name. Option Office uh, one. Then I click this save button. Okay, I resave the reading. Then I need to uh, close to exit. And I can actually view the graph by pressing this button. Now. Uh, okay, so this is actually a real-time real-time graph monitoring. Uh, this is not what I'm interested to see at the moment. And I can actually call back, all right, call up uh, the reading that I have actually uh, transfer earlier on. Okay, these are all the reading. And as I wish to view the graph, I just press. It will take a while to scan through all the reading taken. Okay, now it actually show. Uh, this uh, graph okay what does what does this mean it show it show in detail what is the uh, power for uh, phase one phase two phase three okay and this is this is what power this is actually active power all right and uh, kw kvar and apparent power kva all right phase one second phase and uh, uh, third phase okay power factor voltage level and also current okay now uh, it also show us the uh, the what we call the harmonics all right the harmonics level okay uh, we can actually view for more information uh, more information in terms of uh, we can know what is the uh, harmonics okay our one is actually 50 Hertz Just click OK. Okay, it's actually showing the harmonics. Okay, uh, what sort of harmonics is actually present in terms of uh, graphical uh, display and also this uh, uh, curve. All right. For more information, you can visit us at www.obsnap.com or email us at sales at obsnap.com.